Hi, everyone. Thank you all for joining me today. My name is Kathleen Levito, and I'll be your host for today's webinar titled Building a Legacy, A Great Financial Future Begins with a Smart Financial Plan. Joining me today is Christina Del Aquila, Relationship Manager for AFMA Wealth Management and Trust. If you have a question during this webinar, please feel free to reach out to us by phone or email. This monthly webinar series is brought to you by AFMA Wealth Management and Trust. Our vision is to ensure the financial security and independence of members of the armed forces community, active, retired, honorably discharged service members, and their families. We accomplish this by being the premier provider of financial planning, investment management, and trust services for all branches of the military. We are AFMA's trust company. AFMA stands for American Armed Forces Mutual Aid Association. AFMA, created in 1879, is the longest standing not-for-profit association exclusively serving the military. We empower military families with affordable financial solutions. AFMA focuses exclusively on the needs of military families and provides innovative, personalized, and lifestyle-appropriate financial services. A key point that sets AFMA Wealth Management and Trust apart from other companies is that we are fiduciary. What that means is we have a legal obligation to act in your best interest or, and for your benefit. One important disclaimer before we begin this month's webinar. The information presented herein was compiled from sources believed to be reliable. This presentation is for educational purposes and is furnished without responsibility for completeness or accuracy. Its general information is not specific investment, legal, or tax advice for any individual. Do not rely on this presentation alone to guide your financial planning decisions. Since each individual situation is unique, your uh, needs for financial services will differ. For individual advice, please contact us directly. We produce this webinar series in-house with our own professional staff as a service to our members and to help them better understand the resources that are available to them. I will now turn it over to Christina to begin the presentation. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Christina Delaquilla. I'm a relationship manager uh, here at AFMA Wealth Management and Trust. And um, today I am going to go over um, financial plans and how they can be important to um, build your legacy and to ensure um, a great financial future. So uh, we're going to go over the agenda right now, kind of what we're going to cover over this webinar. Um, we're going to go over, you know, what is a financial plan? Um, we're going to go over comprehensive financial planning, and then we're going to go over goal-based financial planning. Uh, some of the topics that are going to be covered during the goal-based financial planning is educational planning, um, retirement planning, tax planning, and estate planning. And then we're going to top it off with basically a financial plan overview to kind of give you an idea of what um, actually a financial process looks like. And here is like, I like this picture because I think it's a good visual representation of what a financial plan is. It's, you know, you're standing there and you see your goal, you know what exactly what you want in mind when it comes to your financial future, but you're, you're not quite sure how to get there. And I like to uh, think of a financial plan as that, you know, that missing puzzle piece that is going to get you there and um, get you to the goal point, which is going to be your financial future. So the, there are a few steps in, a, in every financial planning process. Um, when you, you meet with the financial planner or a uh, financial advisor and you're working through the, the financial planning process, uh, they're pretty de de defined uh, processes in place. Um, and so you're going to start by developing the objectives together. Then you develop the tasks that you need to meet those objectives. And you determine the resources needed to implement those tasks. Together, you're going to create a timeline and you're going to determine the tracking and assessment method needed to, you know, meet these, meet these objectives and what tasks you're going to accomplish during this timeline. You're then going to finalize the plan and then at the end, you are, you distribute the plan, you know, to the individuals and so they have that as a blueprint going forward uh, to implement the goals and objectives needed to meet the, uh, meet the plan, meet the, the financial plan. So we, we're going to cover the first type of financial planning here. Uh, a 
comprehensive financial plan is really when you're taking a look at the, the big picture, everything that goes and in, factors into your financial plan, your financial p picture, and your financial future. Uh, so we take a comprehensive evaluation of your current and future financial state uh, by using a few uh, currently known variables um, to predict the cash flows, um, asset values, your withdrawal plan, uh, your net worth, your tax liabilities, asset allocation, future retirement plans, and estate plans. And so basically, we're gonna we look at everything, we collect the data. Um, we use these variables as, as well as like estimated asset growth rate uh, to estimate the probability that your financial goals uh, will be met. And if they're not going to be met, what steps do we need to take in to, to increase the probability of your success in the future? Then this is a little bit different so if you you know if say you kind of have a good comprehensive grasp on everything but you have some, some specific goals or specific things that have come up into your life that you need uh, just to take a little snapshot um, out of that grand picture and figure out financial planning based on that you can do goal-based financial planning and this is where you're prioritizing your financial goals and determining an op optimal plan to achieve them some examples where people, these are the common ones where people do goal-based financial planning. They don't feel like they need the whole comprehensive look. They're just really a, a specific thing has come up in their life that they need to focus on. And so they choose to do goal-based financial planning. And some examples of that are, you know, education planning, retirement planning, tax planning, or estate planning. So we're gonna start with them, an example of education planning. Planning. So when you know, you're looking, you know that you're gonna to have to do some funding for education for yourself or for um, you know, your children or grandchildren, whatever you decide, um, you, you, know, you, wanna, you wanna make sure that you have it in place because education costs are skyrocketing and, and continuing to increase. And um, you know, that might be, you know, a, a goal of yours that you really want to provide for your children and for your grandchildren, set them up for success. So we take it, we're going to examine your funding options. So, you know, if you can pay out right, um, if you need to start a, a, a next savings account, uh, what, what, how do you want to plan and pay for the education? That's where you look at your funding options. Then we have tax smart accounts. So when it comes to education funding, you know, by state by state, there are different accounts that you can you can use for education funding. They're all different, a little bit different, um, and they all have certain tax rules and everything like that. And so we really want to look at each one by uh, each one individually to see if that's a good option for you for funding, if uh, it meets your needs, it meets the requirements for the fund, for the education and for the funding. And then uh, we wanna be realistic about financial aid. Uh, financial aid is a great option. Um, not everybody can qualify for it. There are some, you know, some certain tricks where you can do um, when you're looking at financial aid where you can kind of see if you would apply for, if you, uh, would uh, qualify for it um, in certain cases, in certain cases you wouldn't. Um, so that's where we need to be, you know, realistic with how much financial aid do you really think that your, your child or grandchild or yourself personally are gonna have when it comes to your education. And then the last step with any kind of planning is gonna be implementation. So um, when you're working with a financial planner, relationship manager, financial advisor, um, you really, it's all about implementation. You can, you know, take the plan and the plan's not good unless you implement it. So that's gonna be the key step to all of these. Um, so we, as relationship managers and everything, we partner with you. If there's something we, we can implement for you, we do that. If there's not, then we partner with, um, you know, liaisons outside of Asthma Wealth Management Trust when it comes to, you know, your taxes, uh, legal advice, um, anything like that we partner with them so we can implement these plans accordingly next we're going to go over retirement planning so you uh part of retirement planning is going to be uh, determining your income needs in retirement 
you know, how long are, how long will you meet those? Oh, how will you meet those income needs? Um, your retirement budget, because when you retire, your budget's going to change a little bit than when you're working because of, ca you know, you're not going to have the constant cash flow. Um, it might increase or decrease depending on how you, your lifestyle, uh, with your spending is. Uh, we're going to review your retirement assets. We're going to review your insurance needs. That's very important when it comes to retirement planning because we want to stress test it to make sure that there's no weak holes in your insurance needs that might expose you to too much risk in the future and deplete those retirement assets quicker than um, anticipated. Uh, one of the things that we do at Asthma Wealth Management Trust when it comes to retirement planning is we offer anybody that is a, um, a member or eligible for membership a complimentary second look at their uh, investment portfolio. So that's where it can come into play with retirement planning. We can do that for anybody. We can take a look at your current, where you're currently at, um, and do a benchmark about what's out in the market and what portfolios we offer. So that's something we can do for anybody that doesn't involve a, a financial plan. Uh, back to the financial planning aspect of it, the last step is going to be implementation. So once, if we were to go over your retirement planning, and a goal-based financial plan, then we would, you know, review all these all these steps that I have listed here, and then we would work with you in making any changes if needed to achieve those goals. Next one is going to be tax planning. So a lot of people want to make sure their tax efficiency. Um, so that is when you're looking at your retirement accounts. Are you using what's available to you in the most efficient way. Uh, then we have what I, what's called gain loss harvesting, where it is basically you're going to strategically, you know, sell or hold on to certain assets because of tax reasons. If you want, if you can experience, if you can experience a loss or a gain, um, that's, that's where it's important to work with like an investment manager because they know when it's the right time to buy and sell based on your tax needs. Um, and then finally, we have gifting. So if you would like to leave, as we're leaving the legacy comes into play, if you, um, if a goal of yours is to, is to ensure that your heirs and generations after you, um, you would like to leave some, some money to them, Gifting is a good is a good way to do that. Um, there's some tools that you can do to you know avoid gift tax or to minimize it um, going forward, but also to be able to leave a legacy. And that's where you know the tax planning comes into play. Uh, we can use software to kind of d demonstrate this, uh, but with with tax planning because we aren't tax professionals, it's very important for us to do the implementation with a CPA. They're really going to know your entire situation. So that's where it comes into play, where we kind of are looking at the big picture. And then we make the recommendations, and then we'll work in a partnership with your CPA to implement those changes. And lastly, we're going to go over with state planning. Uh, sometimes you have everything in your financial plan in place. And you, you know exactly, you know, month by month what your budget's going to be. You have your, your education, your retirement planning, your tax efficient. Um, and then we come to your estate planning. This is just an overview to make sure that it's the last piece of the puzzle. Um, you determine what your, your estate planning documents are needed, um, to make sure your property is titled properly so that you, um, that you don't cause you know, who, your executor to have to deal with the mess when, when you do pass away. Um, this makes the transition of the property a lot easier uh, for the executor and will cut down on the time that it would take for the property to pass. Uh, that's the same with make sure your benefits, beneficiaries are up to date. This not only ensures that your wishes are met, um, but it just makes the process a lot easier um, when it comes to settling the estate. Back to um, a little touching on uh, gifting strategies and tax planning. This is where it kind of comes into place. And everything, everything with estate planning is, you know, I like to use the word. You are you you built your built your wealth, and then you want to leave your legacy. And so having these proper strategies and planning in place, you know, really makes sure that you know 
what you, you know, the money that you've worked so hard for um, and what you would like it to happen with it, you know, really, really takes place. And there's, you know, there's nothing to worry about and there's peace of mind. With implementation of estate planning, you know, there's a couple of different things. You work with your relationship manager, your financial planner. Uh, you work with the um, your you know a state attorney if you have any documents that you need drafted, and then we also work with your CPA uh, to make sure that the, the tax planning is in place and everything's properly titled um, and and everything's in place. And that's really that takes the, when you work with a relationship manager and a team like Athma Wealth Management Trust that really takes the stress off of you. Because we have the expertise, we know need, we know what needs to take place, and then we can work with other professionals of your choosing to to really implement and you know do it right. So now to go over a little bit of the financial plan overview, and you might be thinking, how does Asthma Wealth Management Trust help with financial planning? Well, we have that knowledge and expertise on military benefits and how it fits into your financial plan. There are tons of financial planners and financial advisors out there, um, but you know how many organizations are specifically for military and no military benefits inside and out. We also partner. We have you know if you have asthma services where you have survivorship services and and your life insurance services even mortgage services. We have that all in house that we can work directly and we have the line of communication where we can work and implement this into your financial plan. So, and that kind of touches, the next one touches on that. We have the engagement of asthma's policy services and member services. So we can all work together in house to, um, to, you know, to cover your, you know, your needs and it just simplifies the process for you. And then we have comprehensive financial planning for every stage of life. We always offer comp comprehensive financial planning, and we also offer the goal-based financial planning. Just to tell you a little bit about what our financial plans look like. We always start with reviewing and confirming the client's goals and objectives. It's a partnership, so you know we can only do these financial plans as comprehensive as the data we're provided. So we partner with the, with the client and we gather financial statements. We determine goals and objectives. We determine specific client concerns and a plan to tackle them. All of these, I, they're all individualized. Uh, I think of them as a blueprint uh, for your financial uh, future. Um, I just, I, they're invaluable to me. I just, I can't stress enough how much if you just don't know where to start with your financial status, um, a financial place is an amazing place to start because it's all, once you have it, it's a blueprint and it's all in one place for you. After we, you know, gather the financial statements, the goals and objectives and, and your specific client concerns, we stress test the plan to analyze if you're adequately insured. As I touched on that previously, it's, it's vital to make sure you're adequately in, insured because if, if there's a weak spot in any of your insurance and you have, um, have a scenario where it, you know, you have to use that insurance and it's, it's not adequate, that could completely deplete your, your, fin your savings and your retirement plan and put you in a whole different position than you ever thought you were going to be. We analyze your current investments. This is something kind of like our comprehensive second look, uh, but it's, it's tied into the financial plan. So we go over, you know, your current investment portfolio. Uh, we benchmark it against what's currently in the marketplace, and then we compare it to, uh, to our portfolios. Everything we always do with investments is completely objective. Um, we think of ourselves as a service um, to our members, so it's completely objective. Uh, we all then discuss our adjustments and apply them to the plan. And then finally, we present the comprehensive financial plan to the client, and we go over our recommendations, and we give you a step-by-step -step implement implementation process of how to, to take what we found um, take the different where we found that you need 
there's areas that need work and we actually give you the steps to go through it. Our financial plans, again, are completely objective. We can help you implement the, the process, but we, there's no obligation to use us to, to go forward. Um, if the blueprint is going to be there for you, so you could, you could do it without us. Uh, but there's always the expertise that comes with a relationship manager and working with Asthma Wealth Management and Trust. After this comprehensive financial plan is presented to the client, we give you access to our financial dashboard so you can keep a pulse on expenses and your overall financial picture. So you'll have like the, the actual plan in place, the physical copy, and then we give you access to our online financial dashboard. This is going to give real time updates of your, you know, account balances and everything. So, you know, and if anything changes with your situation, it will, it will just so you get the overall picture of your financial future, uh, present and future. Great. Thank you, Christina. That was very informative. If you have any questions regarding the content of this webinar, please reach out to us directly at wealthmanagement at asthma.com or to Christina directly at cdelaquila at asthma.com. We'll go ahead and break here for now, but please don't hesitate to reach out to us for assistance whenever you need it. We do this every day for our military community and it is our pleasure. This weekend, you'll receive a follow-up email with instructions on how to access the recording of this presentation. You can always register for future webinars and review past webinars at asthma.com slash webinars. If you found this information useful, we encourage you to please share it with your friends and family. Our membership grows stronger every year because you introduce those in your military community to asthma. Thank you again to everyone listening for joining us today. We look forward to our next opportunity to assist you.